Today I went to a live football event where I was basically volunteering just to help a bunch of high school athletes just get better when it comes to form, technique, most important is getting, being a better athlete, right? And this is a About You and it's called About You NYC, go check it out on Instagram. It's basically a camp where we bring a group of kids together um, to give them, let's say, free resources when it comes to training, you know, good coaches, most importantly, getting influence from other athletes from other schools, most importantly, the NFL, so therefore they can grow. Most importantly, put themselves ahead, put themselves in a, in a position to where they can actually be successful, not just in sports, but outside of sports. And afterwards, this kid came to me and he asked me, yo, how do I gain weight, bro? And through the drills, he was struggling a little bit. And that kind of reminded me of myself. And one thing I did is throughout the whole day, I was like, yo, get your reps in, get your reps in. Because I wanted to see him get better, right? And for me, I'm all about getting people better. And he came to me afterwards, like, yo, I wanted your help. And he didn't even know I was a coach. He didn't even know I was a personal trainer. And he literally just came, well, I was a coach there, but he didn't know I was like an online personal trainer that I could actually help him when it came to gaining weight, right? And he came to me, he's like, yo, how do I gain weight? I want to become more confident. And then afterwards, I gave him my Instagram, and then we talked a little bit in DMs, and I gave him a game plan of basically what to do for the next three to six months, so therefore he can better prepare himself for his junior year, going into his senior year. Now, what did that tell him specifically? I'm gonna be sharing that with you today. But the thing is, what I saw within him, that I saw with me a couple years back, is I want something, but my confidence with it is just not there yet. I want something, but my focus with it is just not there yet. And one of the biggest things that I wanted to do was basically instill some confidence in him during that day, so therefore he can show up a little bit sharper, most importantly, be more intentional with his reps and what he was really doing. So when he was lining up, uh, I could see what his stance, he needs to be a little bit tighter, running, he needs to be a little more confident with it. When it came to people that were in front of him, he, he was he was basically getting through it, but they were always catching up and sometimes were a little bit difficult. But at the end of the day, that's what challenges are for, right? That's the only way you get better is when you get pushed around a little bit and you're like, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm gonna go in the lab and I'm gonna come back next year and I'm gonna show you what I got. And that's what I saw within him that I see within me. Cause I was a point where, to be honest with you, I got cut in, high, in middle school from basketball around like ninth grade, where that pissed me off. I took the whole summer, trained with the trainer, came back, made JV, and then for the next four years, I never, I never got cut. Why? Because I took the time to just say, fuck it, I'm gonna go all in on me, I'm gonna get better, I'm gonna get stronger. And that's when I realized that if you just put in the hard work and your efforts and what you wanna actually get better at, you will get rewarded for it on the field, off the field, wherever you want. So how do I help? And today I'm gonna give you guys a full game plan on how you can get bigger, most importantly, put yourself in a better position to be more confident so you can show up with attention in the things that you wanna do in your daily life. Let's get it. So first thing that I told him was basically, he needs to count macros. Why do macros matter? Because he wanted to gain weight, right? He's under 131 and he wants to get to 160, so therefore he can be a wide receiver. But most importantly, be a strong wide receiver. And for you to be a wide receiver, you need to be able to handle people pushing you. And if you don't have any weight to help you offset that, it's gonna be very hard to actually be a successful wide receiver. So what I told him basically, and I literally showed him a whole video, I was like, yo, bro, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to this website, calculator.net. Um, but yeah, so going into this one, man, you say you currently weigh 131 and you want to get to, well, to be honest with you, I would say aim for 150, 160, bro. Um, and the biggest reason I would say aim for 160 is you can do that within, let's say, this summer, bro. It's just a matter of what you're doing, what's important, how intentional you are behind it. You know, through everything that I saw today, my man, the biggest thing that you want, you personally need to work on, man, is basically A, just intensity. Intensity, bringing it, because you're showing up, man. And when you're showing up, it means you want to learn, it means you want to grow. And that's absolutely everything, you know? Because most people, they won't, they're not willing to show up. Most people, let's say they do show up, they're not willing to take a little bit of criticism saying, hey, get better. And that's the biggest thing that will get you to where you want to get to. It's to be able to actually listen, adhere, but most importantly, apply what you're learning, apply what you're doing. So I love the fact that you came up to me and asked me, and that's why I wanted to help, um, because this is something that, you know, I actually, I specialize in, so you came to the right person. Hey man, God has a way of making things happen. <laughs> um, but let's get into it, right? So the biggest thing I'd say is, man, aim for 160. And when it comes to aiming for 160, brother, this is why I want you to really focus on. I want you to eat more food, which is gonna be really big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to calculator. Oh, no, that's not it. Dot net. And I want you to do a step by step, my man. You're 17. I'll say you're around my height. You'll put 5'10, and you're 131. I'd say you work out four to five times a week. We'll calculate. So now, your main waste is 2,300 calories. Now, what I want you to do is to eat 300 calories above that, 200 calories above that, at least every day. And the reason why I say at least every day, at least five times out of seven, you need to be eating around 25. 2500 calories why because that's going to be the biggest thing that's going to a help you gain more muscle and most importantly help you grow more so therefore you can be a lot more physical and when you're growing when you're big growing muscle 
The biggest thing is it'll help you a lot become faster, it'll help you become stronger, most importantly, it'll change your mindset, and overall, it will give you more confidence. Now, you do this, 2,500, 2,600, you are bound to succeed. Now, how am I gonna calculate my macros, Carl? So the biggest way I want you to calculate your macros is I want you to go to my fitness pal. It is a free app and it is completely easy and free to use. And what I'll do for you, my man, is I'll even go to my YouTube for you. And actually, I think I have a video of my fitness pal, just me explaining it. And I'll personally send that to you. Um, let's see. I just sync my fitness pal and that's it. Ah, I have a track on my fitness pal. Should be called how to track. I'll track the track of macros. Let me just give me one second, bro. I just want to make sure it's the right one. Um, because this is, I used to use my fitness file now. I have my own app, I don't really need to use it anymore. But I want to make sure I put it in the video. Yep, perfect. Yeah. So, I'm going to do is I'm going to send you this video now. So, it's going to be a little confusing when I do send it to you. <laughs> but this is the video I'm going to be sending to you. Um, it's basically showing you how to use my fitness file, and once you see it, everything's going to make sense, right? So, let me send that to you. Now, once you learn how to use my fitness pal, you track your macros, and the biggest thing I'll tell you is use a food scale because a food scale is going to make things super easy to where you get enough protein, you get enough carbs. Now, when you go and watch that video, it's going to show you how to implement your macros into my fitness pal. It's going to show you how to track them into my fitness pal, and I want you to just follow that video step by step so therefore you can start working on this. Most importantly, building your confidence when it comes to actually tracking your food and just gaining more muscle, gaining more weight. And if you know the difference between how much energy you're burning versus how much energy you're actually taking in, it's going to make it so much easier to actually achieve any goal that you want, whether it's weight loss, gain muscle, or stay the same. And then from there on, I recently gave him a game plan of what he could do going to the gym. My guy kind of went inside one of my clients' libraries and just showed him his workouts, like, bro, just screenshot these and do this for the next three to six months and just get better. The reason why I gave him a game plan is for free. And to be honest with you, it's something that my clients pay me for. And for me, I always love helping kids, but most importantly, helping excel whatever area they really want to excel at. To me, that's how you fulfill your life by helping others get what they want. So therefore, over time, you can get what you want. And for me, I'm not expecting anything back in return. The only thing I want back in return, to be honest with you, is dedication, him showing up, him actually doing that shit, sustaining it, and pushing through all the way. Him actually doing that shit and going to the NFL. And hey, what I basically want you to do is I just want you to start screenshotting. Start screenshotting workouts. Um, actually, I'll give you somebody who used to play football. Ah, let's go, Arthur. There we go. And we're going to go, and I want you to screenshot Arthur's workouts. And he works out five times a week. I want you to work out five times a week. If you do that, you're bound to be successful. And the biggest thing is you'll see people doing all these crazy left and right workouts, but I'm telling you, stick to the basics. Roll your legs, grow your arms, grow everything, and then when it comes to football training, take that shit seriously and be intentional with it. If you do that, you are bound to win. You will never lose. I'm just being honest with you. You'll never lose because most people think they need extra left, right, spinning, this. No, you just need the basics of actually growing muscle and then knowing how to utilize your body that you just attained. Knowing how to utilize that weight in your favor on the field. And that, that means working on your footwork as well, too. You know, so one thing I'd say, definitely have a coach when it comes to helping you work on your footwork, helping you when it comes down a little faster, helping you just when it comes to just doing the little things that put you above everybody else. But here's the thing, man. You take one summer to really focus on your game, you're already ahead. Why? Because most people won't do that. Most kids, their age won't do that, bro. Right? And it's going to help you when it comes to building your back. Boom. Let's go to chest. It's going to help when it comes to building your chest. Boom. Now let's go to legs. It's gonna help when it comes to building your legs. Boom. And now let's go to one more leg workout. I usually do legs twice a week. This is like a little bit. Um, this one workout where I would say if you do legs, that's when you can do some agility afterwards. Boom. But usually afterwards, I have you do like running, stairmaster, just to work on some cardio, and then shoulders are core. So yes, that's how you gain weight. You need to put yourself in a calorie surplus. You need to work out. You need to strength train. Not just strength train to go heavy, stupid heavy in the gym all the time, though, but strength train to build muscle, to stimulate hypertrophy. So therefore, you go this bad boy, that bad boy, this bad boy, and you tighten up this bad boy. And the only way you can do that is by doing the basics. Hey, this might be a thing that completely changes everything for you, and if it does, I'm glad that I could help and be part of your journey. At the end of the day, that's all I want. It's to help others, most importantly, help you shine, help you grow, help you become the best version of yourself. And that's what I wanted to do with him. It was really put him in a position to where if I go to that camp next year, I want to see him dominate. And I'm talking about dominate, footwork, dominate. And if you're watching this, 
You got downrated, my guy. I'm telling you, man, you got it all in you, man. You have it all in you. And the fact that you came up to me to ask for help shows that you want to get better. And that's what I truly love, when people actually want to get better, elevate their game, and elevate themselves. Because at the end of the day, it all, all it takes is asking for some help. And asking for some help can get you the biggest reward because you just went up to that person who probably knew exactly what you need to do to get you to that next level, and that's just going to speed up your process. We're just finding out five years later what you could have done and being like, damn, I wish I did this in high school. No, no more I wish. Do it now, my brother. Do it now. So yeah, if your goal is to gain weight, pump some mass, this game plan could work out for you. Go to calculate.net, find out your maintenance calories, and then put yourself in a 400 500 calorie surplus. Make sure you're doing a lean bulk because at the end of the day, you wanna eat dirty. And when you eat dirty, it's just gonna put on a lot of fat. You don't wanna put on a lot of fat, right? So biggest thing I would say is eat it 80% healthy at a time and 20% enjoy yourself. And if you do that, you will be successful on this journey. And most importantly, you will put yourself in a better position to where you will get better at whatever you wanna get better at. And if you're watching this dude, Working on footwork, working the skills, hit the gym, stay consistent, and I promise you, it will reward you one year from now, two years from now. And anybody else that's watching this at 17, 18, 19, 20, and wanna excel at something, you just gotta put in the work and I promise you will get better. But if you don't put in the work, you'll never know what you're capable of. You'll never know what you're able to do. You'll never know what you, look in the mirror yourself, will actually come out at 10 years from now, 20 years from now. And I promise you, every minute does matter. Every second does matter. What you do does matter. What you say does matter. And I wanna see you actually utilize the best of your time to your abilities, so therefore you can put yourself in a better position to be successful. And if you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe, follow, like, and I'll catch you next time. Hey, make one person's day today. Seriously, you see somebody struggling? Make their fucking day today, man. Come on, you too, girl. Peace.